Hey guys, this is Code Freak here at 1UP Definitive Studios bringing you episode 7 of my video blog. want to thank you guys for joining me again this week, uh, bringing you some awesome new content. Also, if you guys haven't had a chance, check out the website, mystufflittletherapy.com. We are .com. I'm so excited about that. I actually got rid of the WordPress, even though we're still on WordPress, and we thank them so much for all that they've done for me. It's nice to be a .com and actually have that domain name right there. Makes me feel a little special. And so I want to thank you guys for uh, all the inspiration and checking that out and all the support and love you guys send me over there. So if you haven't had a chance to check it out, go over there, follow me. Uh, of course, like and subscribe here. Sit there, tell all your friends about it, and hopefully I can give you a couple good positive things for this coming week. Uh, first thing I wanted to get into, um, it's actually my most recent blog post there. Um, it's starting with your uh, personality traits. Uh, went to a wonderful website la end of last year, uh, 16personalities.com. It's kind of a business tool that uh, business people use to sit there and evaluate employees and it basically gives, you know, assigns personality types, the uh, Briggs and Myers uh, personality uh, test pretty much. And it's a simplified version for that, for the free one. They do have a professional version of it. Um, I did not go through that one because you have to pay for it. But the free one was pretty well accurate. I have a friend of mine who actually took both of them. And the free one's about 95% accurate as far as picking all the little nitpicky uh, personality details. The paid one is pretty well 100% accurate. You know, picked, knew everything about them and everything like that. Um, it's a great, easy website. I highly recommend everyone to go do it. Um, because it just gives you a great idea of who you are. Um, I did it again uh, when my wife, she took her personality test and uh, she was like, hey, you should do it. Uh, one, I want to see if you, I, I've got your personality right and also I want to see you know strengths, weaknesses and things like that because it gives you kind of a full readout and full detail of kind of who you are. Um, and I'll be downright honest, it, it's a little scary at times because it it really does, if you're truly honest with it, it will really pick you out and be able to show you exactly who you are. It turned out I was an INFJ is what it's called. Um, I'm intuitive. Um, I'm an introvert. Go figure. Somehow I'm an introvert, but I do YouTube videos. How about that? Um, I'm feeling and judging. Um, and then they'll give you a little acronym after it. Um, that one's, you know, kind of narrows it down a little bit more for you. I believe it was a dash A. I don't quite remember that one. But um, by Narrowing down kind of your personality type, it really, sh again, showed you the strengths and weaknesses. It'll break down each one of those for you. And it was really creepy the first time I took it because I was like, wow, that, that, that's me on a paper. How did they know that about? Are you watching me? I mean, it was, it was rather creepy. I mean, because they picked out every, pretty much every aspect of my personality. And it was really cool being able to see. Um, basically someone tell me, yeah, we know who you are. We know why you act the way you do. And here's why. And I, I gotta say, I've had some friends take it. Um, I would say probably the more honest you are with yourself and that's kind of hard. I would recommend doing it by yourself. Um, not in a group of other people because you re it really does ask some questions that make you really think. And you want to sit there and be as honest as possible um, with it. Because, I mean, if you're really wanting to know more about yourself, you answer the questions how you are, not quite how you think you are. I mean, it's not one of those, I would like to be this person. I like to think that in this situation I would do this. But if you're actually truly honest with yourself, you'll find yourself getting a lot more honest answers and honest results. And, uh, yeah, it's really cool because I was able to take some of that information and uh go online, do some comparisons and things like that. They give you a list of, you know, celebrities and also fictional characters of who you're, you know, who your personality type is based off of as well. Um, like I, my, one of the fictional characters that I got was Aragorn from Lord of the Rings. I was like, oh, all right. Yeah, I like that. Uh, some of the other ones that are INFJs was like Martin Luther King Jr., uh, Gandhi, uh, Mother Teresa, I was like, holy crap, I'm in that category. It kind of gives you a little feel good about that of like, okay, so now I can kind of see who I am. And what you can do from there is do a little research, like I said, go online, see a little bit more uh, about your personality type. And again, it helps identify those weaknesses um, and gives you a chance to kind of evaluate yourself, see why you're acting a certain way in a situation. Um, also, it gives people that love you, know you well, um, gives them a an idea of how they can help you a little bit better. Be, seeing as this is a, you know, kind of a depression anxiety thing that I kind of go through, this gave my wife some really good insight 
on how to deal with me at certain times. Um, I tend to you know, be able to read into everything, be able to see everything, and I absorb a, a lot of information. And there's times where me personally, with my personality type, I just have to decompress, take some time, 30 minutes alone, hugging a pony, and it decompresses and I just am able to get rid of it. And I'm, that's how I'm able to deal with some of the uh, bigger stressful situations in my life. So it was really interesting. So I highly recommend if anyone ha has never done one of those before, go there, take that one. If you want to take, there's several others on the internet as well. You can just Google the interwebs and be able to find those out. Um, I know I took mine a couple different websites, a couple different times just to make sure that's truly what it was. And it was, uh, it was really cool. Actually, it, it's almost a little bit of self-discovery. Find a little bit more about yourself. So highly recommend that uh, everyone do that. A um, couple, couple little things that uh, I wanted to follow up with. I actually had a doctor's appointment today. That was uh, always fun. Um, fortunately, it was just a uh, my normal routine checkup to see how I was doing. And I was very happy to see that uh, my all my results are good. My blood pressure's down. Um, it's normal. Everything across the board is pretty much normal. And my doctor and I had a really good visit being able to talk about everything um, because I am on medication for depression and anxiety. And this is something that she's been helping me through very well. And she's seen the progress. And having someone else who's a licensed physici physician um, be able to go through and tell you, hey, you're doing a lot better. I can definitely tell the difference from you know nine months ago to now how much you've changed and how much you've grown and everything like that. It's really cool for me, at least, to see the progress that I've made. And so um, I just wanted to you know, give a shout out to her of just thank you, thanking her for all the stuff that she does for me, but also encourage anybody, if you haven't gone and seen a doctor in a while or if you need to get some help, please do get some help. There's plenty of people out there that can help you. Um, definitely find an awesome doctor. Ask friends. That's how I actually found this doctor. Is a friend of mine told me about her. And I was like, okay, I'll, I'll go see her. I don't have insurance. I have to pay out of pocket. Um, I'm still doing that because she is helping me so much. And she's been one of the most amazing doctors. You're talking to a guy who absolutely, I can't stand doctors. I really, I've, I've never liked them in my life. Uh, the few times I've been in the hospital, I, I can't stand it. I, it just drives me nuts. Um, being around doctors, hospitals, needles especially, I'm, I really can't stand needles. Um, but this was the, one of the first times I've actually truly kind of connected to a doctor and she listened, understood me and is, you know, giving me different ideas to help, help me better myself, um, get healthier and things like that. And so again, talk to people, find out if there's a good doctor in your area, go see them, you know, get, get a little bit of help. It was the hardest thing in my life. I would say is admitting that there was something wrong and being able to do that and finally get the help that I needed. Um, it truly was a turning point in my life. Um, that's when I started doing my blog. That's when I started doing so many other things and started really building myself back up. And it was that one decision really to go get some professional help at times. And again, it's hard. It's one of the most difficult decisions. It's something I talked with, talked to my family about quite a bit. Um, it was, it was deeply emotional, but I can tell you sitting here today, it was probably one of the best decisions I've ever made in my life because it really did help me. So go out, find an awesome doctor, find someone you can actually relate to, someone you can trust and everything. And hey, not all doctors are bad. I'm actually saying that, I can't believe that. Final thing I kinda wanted to touch on to this week was uh, really just to spread the love. I know Valentine's Day has passed already. Um, it's again, that time of year where it's dull, gray outside, snow for you people up north and everything. Down here in Texas, we're getting up to about 80 degrees during the day. So yeah, old man winter decided to pass us over global warming take your pick i don't care it's just one of those we're we're hot here now and it's going to be summer soon so i'm not looking forward to that but everyone's kind of in that funk right now because we're between the holidays summer vacations a ways away we have a little bit of spring break coming up so we're gonna have an opportunity kind of cut loose have some fun and things like that but in doing so just remember just kind of spread the love um that's always been kind of my mantra um, just being able to get out there while you're on spring break, while you're dealing with those uh, customer service people, um, that cashier in Walmart, um, just going out of your way and saying, hey, thank you. I hope you have a wonderful day. Little things like that. I can tell you as someone who's been through all that, it is amazing how much how much it can change your day just by having one person recognize that, hey, thank you for doing your job. Thank you for doing this. Oh, here, let me help you with that holding a door open. It's the little easy, simple things that, again, can show so much love uh, for everybody. 
Um, I know it's an election year. It's a hard time this year because we have so many people from so many different parties and so many different sides and all this hate flying around um, on Facebook, Twitter, all these different places. Try to understand that, yes, while you may not like this candidate or this candidate or whatever goes on in that scene, remember that who you are talking to, those are actual people. Yes, you can criticize a candidate and all that. They, they deserve to be criticized, some of them more than others even. But when you're talking to the actual people, remember, they're actual real people as well. And, again, showing love and everything, that's going to do much more than keeping spreading the hate to all the all the different groups of people out there because that's all you're going to do is you're just going to continue that hate and you're just going to basically make it to where it's going to be the same thing over and over again and I, I just I, I can't stand that I can't see stand seeing people um, just you know perpetuating that same hate and it <sighs> It's, it, it saddens me. I get really disappointed when I see people just sit there and fly off the handle and mouth off. And it just it's so disappointing at times because I'm like, it, those are real people that you're reaching out there. Those are real people that you're wanting to talk to. And you're not going to get your message across if all you're going to do is keep you know calling people names and everything like that. So that's what I've got this week, guys. Spread the love. As always, hug a pony, people. And I will see you back here next week. <laughs>